What's up guys, this is Will and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 after using this uh, a little bit over a week I've had this uh, so I just want to, it's not going to be specs or anything like that this is more or less just telling you uh, what I think about the device my impressions of it after having it for this uh, amount of time uh, some things I like, some things I don't so uh, I picked this up, like I said, about uh, about a, a week and a half ago or something like that. And I wasn't going to get the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 because I still have my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And it worked it's in good condition. So, And when I saw this color come out, I said, I like that color. I just may go ahead and pick that color up. So uh, the cloud silver uh, kind of attracted me to this device. And I end up picking it up. So, uh, starting off with the build quality, I really like this uh, device here. It's a little bit wider than the than the S, uh, the Note 8. Uh, it has some nice little chamfered edges on there. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, just has a great build quality about it, uh, and it feels good. The buttons and everything are are uh, in good shape. They don't have any wiggle or anything to them. Uh, as you can see at the top, they do have the uh, SIM card slot right there and a microphone at the top. At the bottom, you got your, your one speaker, your S Pen, which is great. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, your charging port, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is still there. And uh, the display on this uh, is great, very colorful. Uh, the, the device is wider, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to type on, even though I don't like the, the curved displays. Uh, just something about this one that feels good, and they got it right on this one, I think. So, uh, the display, like I was saying, uh, very beautiful, accurate color, well, colorful, uh, and I have no, no problem with the display. Uh, as far as the S Pen, now this this is gonna be all over the place. I, I don't have any notes written down or anything like that. Uh, the S Pen is great, man. They added the remote features. Uh, you can open up apps, take pictures, <clears throat> and things like that, excuse me. But I don't think I'll be using any of that because with my Note 8, all I mainly did is highlight, uh, copy and paste, uh, screenshot, and things like that. So those added features with that uh, with this S Pen, uh, great to have, but it's not something that I'm going to use all the time. Now, the dual speakers that they have on here, uh, that's a big improvement because I was constantly covering up the speaker on the Note 8 at the bottom. So now that they have dual speakers, it's great, and they both and they sound good too. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, the 4,000 milliamp battery, I think it is, uh, lasts all day. I'm getting great battery life. And that was one thing with the Note 8 that I didn't like. I had a battery case on there. So it made it, you know, made it better. But uh, this one being able to last all that time without a battery case or, or having to charge it, even though the quick charge uh, is great to have. So uh, don't, still don't like the glass backs and glass fronts. Uh, this one doesn't get too, too much fingerprints on it, but it, it does get fingerprints. Uh, another thing they improved on that I like, well, it didn't matter to me. Uh, they put the fingerprint sensor here uh, instead of over there. Well, I didn't have a problem with my Note 8. I could reach it uh, quite easily on that. Uh, but this does make it a little bit better. They have made vast improvements with the cameras on here. Uh, the cameras are, are great. Take great video and uh, uh, pictures as well. The front and the back uh, just added features. I'm not going to go into the features on the uh, cameras and stuff, but uh, they have improved the cameras. There's plenty of videos out there that go into high detail about the cameras. Uh, but as far as phone calls, uh, it makes great phone calls. Uh, uh, don't have any phone any problems with the phone calls at all. They, they uh, Everybody, I can hear good and they can hear me good. Uh, Samsung's, uh, the UI on here is great. Uh, flows good. I got the 128 six gigabyte version, Snapdragon uh, 845, uh, and it chugs along, man. Which uh, a lot of people were saying on there, uh, 
know they 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 had problems. Till till this day, I still don't have any problems with my Note 8 uh, with any lag. In fact, I'm I'm shooting this video with my Note 8, and right now it still takes pretty good. Uh, there I am. There's a Note 8, but uh, still takes great video and takes great pictures as well. So uh, no problem with that. Uh, with the uh, operating system at all. I got off track a little bit there, but the, the UI is great on here. And uh, like I said, battery life is vastly improved. And uh, that and the, and the uh, S Pen and the, the fingerprint sensor. Now, I don't use any of the uh, face detection or uh, your eyes or whatever, all that. I use my fingerprint sensor and it works every time. I wear glasses, so I don't, I don't, uh, try and use any of that stuff, face detection or whatever it's called on here. Uh, like I said, it's not into the specs or anything, but uh, you know, the fingerprint fa fingerprint sensor is fast enough for me. So, uh, let's talk about the price on this. So this, I picked this up at Best Buy and it was $999.99 and they also included a uh, 32 inch uh, Samsung HD TV, which kind of offset the price a little bit for me. Uh, and I think this is great value because they still putting in the fast charger. You still getting your headphones. Uh, you, you know, you get expanded, expandable memory with this. Uh, and, uh, I think it's just, you know, all the features that Samsung phones have, man, if you, if you want to do this or do that with this phone, just about anything you can imagine, customization, uh, is there with the Samsung, so it's a better deal to me than the iPhone uh, 10s Max uh, because you, you know Samsung just offers so much more. Uh, if I was a, a carrying an iPhone all day long uh, as my main device, then the 10s Max would be you know one that I would get, but I wouldn't pay. Uh, I wouldn't get the 64 gigabyte one either, uh, which is the one that I had. Now, I'm going to pick up the iPhone XR, definitely, and uh, I just like having the newer iPhone on deck, so that's uh, that's the one I'm going to get. But uh, just for this, having this device for a week now, a, week and a little bit over a week and a half, uh, great device, glad I picked it up, and I do see improvements over the Note 8, but to me, if you got the Note 8, I would probably wait until the next Note comes out and I get this one, because the Note 8 is still a great device. But anyway, guys, that's my look at the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 after using it a week and a half. But we'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm out of here.